so this week I thought I'd have a little spring takeover on Vivian Does Makeup YouTube wise. So today I'm going to talk through five new additions to my wardrobe that are kind of spring appropriate and then on Sunday I'm going to do a talk through through this look which is like my spring makeup edit. So five suggestions that will jazz up your makeup bag for this lovely bright lamb birthing flower blooming season. But anyway today I'm going to talk you through five things that I've bought recently for my wardrobe and they're not necessarily spring related things, no florals or colour really going on here, but they're just five new things I bought because I haven't purchased clothing for yonks and they're just things that are going to work really well with things that I've already got in my wardrobe. So first things first, the top that I'm wearing today. This is actually the top I've been wearing in quite a lot of videos. I'm going to take a few cutaways here so you can actually see it on me. Picked it up from Topshop, I think it's just called their stripe shirt or something like that. And it's just a deep blue and white striped top, quite wide stripes, and you've just got horizontal stripes going on the top and then a little pocket that has vertical stripes on. I think it's like a nice little touch there and it is so comfortable to wear. Not the easiest to iron. Ironed it this morning. I never normally iron. That's Mark's job. I do the washing and drying and he does the ironing. Ironing shirts is very difficult. There's obviously a little knack to it that I just don't have at the moment. It does require a bit of an iron, which is a bit of a pain. But I just like how it's a shirt, so it's quite fitted and structured, but it's just quite slouchy in its appearance. It's fab for wearing at the weekends with just jeans. Some people could say it looks a bit like a pyjama top, and I guess it does, and I'm really okay with that. <laughs> but I just like that it's light and bright, and it's not black like a lot of other tops in my wardrobe. And another top that isn't black. You see, I've been, actually, I don't think anything that I've bought is black. Well done. Pat self on the back. This is a top that you've probably seen in videos as well, and I'm not sure if I wore it at a beauty chat. I may have, it's sort of my slightly fancier top, and it's from a brand called Sandro. I went in there, bought this, and it's just beautiful. It's like one of those really beautiful tops. When I wear it, I just feel like, oh, this is a little bit fancy. But it's just a white sleeveless top that's got this sheer panel down the middle. It doesn't go too low. I don't really have boobs anyway, so there's no cleavage or anything to show. And the sheer panel is also on the back and goes a little bit deeper at the back. But the good thing is, is that you can still wear a bra with this. That's good because the little V at the back doesn't go too low. And it's just a nice length as well. It's not too high. It's not cropped or anything like that, it sort of covers the top of your jeans or your leather trousers or whatever you're wearing below. I've gone from like one extreme to the other there with my pyjama top and then nice going out top. But to go with those tops, actually to go more with the top that I'm wearing now, I bought some boyfriend fit jeans. I've been meaning to buy boyfriend fit jeans for ages and I just keep putting it off. Number one, I hate buying jeans at the best of times which is why I just buy my Topshop Lees over and over again because I just hate trying them on and you pick up like 10 sizes and then none of them fit and it's just a real pain in the ass. So I don't like shopping for jeans anyway. And then boyfriend fit are quite hard to find in my experience because you don't want them to be really baggy, like 90s baggy, but you also don't want them too tight because then that defeats the whole point of having boyfriend fit. And so many people, every time I ask for boyfriend fit jean recommendations, so many people recommended the Levi's 501s. So I finally picked them up off of ASOS, which probably wasn't the best idea because I tried them on and I was like, yeah, I probably could go a size or two down in these. Hence why the labels are still on. But I thought I would show you them because I'm definitely going to pick them up in a smaller size because I actually really like the fit and the wash of these. They look really nice, just casually rolled up at the bottom. They've got a sort of distressed finish in the fact that there's a few ripped knees, but I just like the wash and I like the fit. They just need to be like an inch small around the waist, which is really easy, so I can just order the size down. But they're sort of not too baggy, but they're just very comfortable, I think, with either this striped top or just with some plain black or white t-shirts in the summer with Birkenstocks. I can see me wearing these a lot. I can see me sort of living in these for doing errands and then also like weekend things, but I do love the look. I feel like Claire Marshall does this really well. I'll link her channel below. She's an absolute babe. She does this look where she wears like the baggy jeans but with high heels and makes it look really fancy. So I want to experiment with that too. Now because things are warming up ever so slightly, I thought I'd give myself another shoe option aside from shoe boots because that's basically all I wear. My ash boots or my Aldo kind of high ones when I've got something a little bit fancier to go to. I do have my Nike free runs and also my Kurt Geiger like leopard print slip-ons but I don't really have any sandals and I feel like I went through the whole of last summer without a pair of 
of sandals and that's just crazy so I thought I would give myself a little bit of a head start and these are more of a spring summer shoe I found them on ASOS and they look a little something like this they're from a brand called pieces they say made in Italy on them and the little price tag on the back had like loads of different countries and the price in all different countries so are these are these a thing on the continent let me know but I really like these I just like that they're number one very comfortable I've sort of worn these around and it's kind of like you're wearing slippers I love shoes that are like you're wearing slippers comfortable it's very high on my priorities list if you can't already tell I like that they're also that brown like tanny leather I think this is a really great color of shoe to have because they sort of go with everything and I like that they're very fuss free you've just got like the straight over leather bit at the front there's no sort of strappy bits they're just like a very sophisticated almost like upgrade from the gladiator sandal which I've worn for years and years and years so I really like these they're almost like a Tom's mixed with a gladiator sandal I like that now the final thing I picked up as a little bit of a spring wardrobe update was a pair of sunglasses. Now I have my Ray-Ban Wayfarers, I also have a pair of the Clubmans I think. Mark tends to nick the Clubmans so I just basically wear the Wayfarers all the time. I picked them up probably like three years ago and they are always in my bags. I'm one of those people that really suffer in the sun, I think I've mentioned this before, I ruined many school photos by being in the back row and making a face like in the sun. Like I just don't deal well if someone's like, oh, pose for a photo. If the sun is in my eyes, I'm like at the side <laughs> grimacing. So I do get a lot of wear out of sunglasses. And I saw these again on ASOS, but they're from Whistles and they look a little something like this. The shape is sort of quite similar to the Ray-Ban ones that I have, but I just like that it's got like a pale tortoise shell type look to them. I'll put them on for you. Oh, it looks like I'm in some kind of like R&B video with the, with the rings in my shades. They're gonna take a bit of getting used to because you can see my eyebrows out the top of them and I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I feel like they're slightly smaller than the ones I've got now, but I kind of like they're a bit different. They add a bit of color, you know, they're not black, not plain. I just love how... <laughs> Great, just entertaining myself there. I've just realized, apologies for not showing a cutaway with the shoes actually on my feet because I haven't done a pedicure in quite a few weeks and it would just take ages to get them up to a standard where I'm willing to share. So you saw them. I'm sure I will pop them up in a post or a blog post or you'll see them on my feet at some point, but just not today because trust me, you don't want to see that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to look out on Sunday for the spring beauty edit that is coming. I hope you have a great week until then, and I'll see you then. Bye.